I'm doing the don't know what time it is challenge again. If, for those who don't know, it's a challenge that I invented last year where I tried to go a really long time without knowing the time. And so I've spent the past year thinking about it, iterating on it, and taking your feedback to heart, and really trying to think how can I make it better. And so a few of the problems you guys noted, I can tell what time it is just by looking outside of the sun. You can see right now sun up means sun uh, daytime. So what's the solution for that? Well, I found out that in certain parts of the planet, namely Tromso, Norway, there was a period of time where the sun don't come up it don't rise i have booked a ticket to tromso norway and i will be going to norway in about 24 hours and i'm gonna try to figure out what time it's not in the wrong place in norway hey guys nick here uh t-minus um 12 hours to lift off a little bit nervous about uh, all this. I've never been to this country. I've never been to Europe. I've never been to... Let me show you. Here's the problem we're dealing with here. This little book here. Let's look at some of the countries I've been to, okay? 2018, I went to Japan. 2016, went to Japan. 2013, it looks like I took a trip to Japan. It looks like 2015, I got a... This, they gave me an immigration sticker for one of my trips to Japan. October 2018, I went to Japan. Down here, this is actually earlier this year. I remember this, this was back when I went to Japan, back in May. Now this is an interesting one. Temporary entry permit, valid for uh, one day to go to China. And that's because I had a layover when I was going to Japan. Uh, up here is October 2019, uh, 90 day temporary visitor visa for a visit to Japan. So really what we're looking at here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trips to Japan, and I've never been anywhere else. My point being, Japan's the only place I've been. I live in America, I've never been to Canada, I've never been to Mexico, I've never been to England, I've never been to Europe, I've never been to anywhere that isn't Japan before, so I'm kind of freaking out. And I think part of the freak out that I'm experiencing, and I'm gonna level with you here, is the fact that uh, um, I, haven't slept, like literally I haven't slept. I woke up at 3 p.m. yesterday and, wait, yesterday, yeah, 3 p.m. yesterday and now it's, what time is it? I don't know what time it is. That's not right. It's 8 p.m. today, so I've been awake for, I've been awake for 29 hours and I'm gonna go see Uncut Gems starring Adam Sandler. I love you, uh, I'll see you in Norway. Good. I'm a. I'm going to, to Norway tomorrow. Do you have anything that would be good for for that? I don't quite. Uh, like you know, it's kind of vague. <laughs> yeah. Let, let me just kind of throw this back. Yeah. At you. I'm going to Japan. We have hand warmers. That might be a good thing coming. Hand out. warmers. I'll yeah, do hand that. Warmers, yeah. Oh, he looked right at me. I think I should grab some snacks. What's something that would be good to munch on? <laughs> we, got big, we got big puffs. Let's see if the milkman is struck. It appears he had, oh, it looks like the milkman left the door open. <laughs> Must be a new milkman. Also one important note, in a small number of hours I'm getting a haircut so my hair's not gonna look all crazy for the video. Oh shit, this is gonna be in the video. Fuck. All right, I just poured the first bowl of Reese's Puffs Big Puffs. And I I couldn't believe my eyes at what came out. This is a, this is a psychotic puff. Maybe if you're not familiar with a typical Reese's Puff, this doesn't seem insane. No, this is still insane. Excluding mini wheats. This is the biggest cereal I've ever seen in my in my entire life. I could not fit a third puff in there if I well, maybe I could. But I it's it's comfortably seats two puffs. <laughs> Even the sugar is bigger than normal sugar. They blasted the whole thing with a some sort of bit some sort of honey I sh grew the puffs two puffs look at that it's just a big pear <laughs> well, it's still the Reese's Puffs you know and love just way too big thumbs up you may have noticed that it is now they don't know what year it is challenge and here's how we're gonna do that because you might be asking well how are you not gonna know what year it is well it is Sunday 
December 29th, 2019. Now you may be asking yourself, Nick, why are you going December 29th and arriving on December 30th? Uh, that's right, when New Year, uh, New Year, Happy New Year happens. How I'm gonna be doing this is I'm going to be doing the challenge as we cross through that threshold into the new year and so it is not going to be a don't know what time it is challenge it is going well it is going to be a don't know what time it is challenge but it's also going to be a don't know what year it is challenge and in fact it is technically also going to be a don't know what decade it is challenge feels good to be back feels good to be back in the saddle trying to figure out what time it's not can i get a six cajun fillet biscuits hey Okay, nope. I got a I got a weird question for you. I'm going to to Norway later today, and I kind of want to bring some some Cajun fillet biscuits for people to try, like some of my friends out there to try. But I don't know the best way to seal them up and make sure they're still gonna be fresh when I get there. Are you going by like plane or a plane? Uh, plane. My plane or car? Probably an insulated bag. Insulated bag. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks. You too. Mm, I just want to breathe only Bojangles air. You embraced the Bojangles. I was born in it. I'm <laughs> I'm Bane Jangles. My first name is Bane. My last name is Jangles. I'm <laughs> I can't. Do you guys want me to do a Bane voice? I feel like 2020. You know, never been a better time for Bane-based comedy. Bojangles, DM me. No free ads, man. I can't keep giving away this free promo. The brand awareness that I am able to provide for a brand like Bojangles. You can't put a price tag on it, but I will. Bojangles, email me back. Large flakes. <sighs> it's 4 p.m. and it's also nighttime. <laughs> it's nighttime, bro. There's no sun. All right. Against all odds, the Bojangles was allowed through the customs of the United States. Sweden and Norway. Where's the fridge though? Like every every minute counts when we're dealing with perishable foodstuffs. Not the fridge. This is safe. That could come in handy later. There she blows. All right, Bojangles. You traveled quite a distance. This may be the longest Bojangles has ever traveled. You get in there. You stay safe and sane with that Norwegian Kit Kat. <sighs> Mission accomplished. I was worried about the hotel aspect of it. There's usually an alarm clock, but this is, this is kind of the perfect place to not find out what time it is. Looking at how it looks out there, I was like, this is gonna be too hard. 
to, or wait, too easy? Do I want to figure out what time it is? I've never really been clear on if I'm trying to find out what time it is or trying to not find out what time it is. But I, I think I'm, I think between the sun, the sun not coming up ever, and there being no clocks in my room, I don't think I, I think it's going to be pretty easy to not find out what time it is. One more thing. Uh, I was thinking about it. Well, first what happened was I laid down in that bed for a second and almost fell asleep. And then I realized that if I woke up, if I fell asleep and woke up, uh, I'd be sc screwed. I'd be screwed because I don't know the, I had to have no lay of the land. I haven't explored at all the hotel or Tromso. I wouldn't know where was safe to go. I got to explore as much of Tromso as I can before I pass out. Exploring Tromso. I'm gonna go to the, the ooh, slippery. Maybe should get some spikes for my boots. We're going to Norwegian 7-Eleven. I just have to get a taco baguette. I mean, I mean maybe the connection is the incredulous, but it says taco baguette. It looks like a mixed made taco and baguette. It's a good name. That's my, that's what I'm having for lunch or dinner. Got the George Go Blackbirds Street Racer. All right, instead of the taco baguette, someone in front of me in line got this uh, panini of mozzarella and pesto, and I think tomato. That's gonna be a safer bet. I just want some stability in this world. I didn't really know what I was walking into. Here. It's like a big old mall. I think we have a classic Troms of moment eating my 7-Eleven pesto panini. All enjoying watching the other his haircut. Is that an appropriate time of the day for a haircut? I don't know. Because my body, my brain, and my mind, and my eyes are all telling me it's night because it's dark out. To me, this is a special mall that's open at 2 a.m. And it sure feels, it sure has the energy of a 2 a.m. mall. This panini is bringing me back to life. All right, I went to the, the that 7-Eleven, which I, it turns out is the most is the northernmost 7-Eleven in the world, and I bought this charger because I forgot that different countries use different plugs. So I'm gonna be able to charge my phone for tomorrow. You know what I just realized? This poor Apple Watch. I'm keeping it face down. This ally of mine through thick and thin. He helped me out on the plane ride. This friend of mine, this longtime friend, is now an enemy because it's, it is probably the most concentrated dose of trying to tell me what time it is in the whole damn country, frankly, at this point. So we're taking this son of a gun. You can see the screen is lighting up, but we don't want to see what it says. And we're closing the door. Typing in my secret code now. No, oh, don't show everyone. Ian, censor that, please. That's the pin on my debit card. We have locked her in. The only thing in this house that could tell me this house, <laughs> the only thing in this hotel that could, that could at a glance easily tell me what time it is, behind bars, where she belongs. I need to put a tag on the door so that this says do not disturb, because I don't want them coming in here trying to tell me what time it is. Sorry, now is not the right time. Time being the operative word. I don't know if now is the right time because I'm not gonna know what time it is. Lock. All right, what else do I have to do? Oh, you know what I have to do? Okay. So what I need to do here, just to prepare for tomorrow, general date and time, turn offset automatically. Roulette, baby, boom. Now we're gonna switch places and we're gonna do the same to this guy. You hear that? That's the sound of me not knowing what time it is. We're good to go. These are the these are the things that when you try to figure out what time it's not twice, this is what you learn. And with that, I'm gonna sleep finally. I did I did a cursory walk of the grounds. 
I don't think there's anything that's gonna tell me what time it is that jumps out to me right away, but like there's like there's no clocks. There's no big clocks anywhere I'm finding. It almost is like in this country where the sun doesn't rise for a few months, they're less obsessed with knowing what time it is than we are in America, where you can't drive 10 feet through a rural town without 15 huge digital clocks screaming the time at you. That's what made it so hard the first time. Well, this time it's gonna be easy. Easy or hard. What? Oh. I just woke up. I don't know what time it is. Uh, I I really, really don't know what time it is. I I was up. I I I was up twenty four when. I was awake for 24 hours yesterday. I slept for one hour. I changed like seven time zones. Went to three different countries. I truly am from my heart, my bottom of my soul don't know what time it is. Um, and let's keep it that way. Let's keep it that way. All right, you know, you know the feeling when you, you're on vacation, you wake up in a hotel room and you got your blackout blinds covering everything and you don't know what time it is, but you know it's time to wake up because you had a full night's sleep, you're feeling great, you're ready, you're ready for the, open it up and get the sun's rays, make you feeling fine. Here we go. <laughs> this is, I'm sorry, this is still so funny to me. It doesn't work here. The, t the sky doesn't work. The sun doesn't work. There's a lot of lights over there. But maybe they have always had lights on in Tromso because it's always nighttime this time of year. There's a taxi. So it's it's a time of day at which people could be awake. No, no clue. I could have slept four hours. I could have slept eight hours. I could have slept 12 hours. I was awake for so god long. It's entirely possible that I slept way, way longer than normal. We could be on the cusp of 2020 right now. And, and I would, I would have no way of, of knowing. Let's get some more lights on in here. All right. So if you just want to take my temperature and get a rough ballpark of what my, what my gut is telling me in terms of what time it is and is and is, uh, is and isn't, um, I'm, what I'm getting what I'm hearing from my heart is that it's like morning. But again, I don't have a lick of evidence about that. I randomized all my clocks. I slept for God knows how long or how little. I went to a place with no sun. I don't know what time it is. This is roughly what I'm trying to do. Overall, if I had to boil it down, there is an outside chance that, that it's not 2019 anymore, but I doubt it. And that would require, I don't know though, because the whole, the last few hours I was awake, I intentionally didn't know what time it was. So it, it could be, it's anyone's, it's anyone's guess. I don't really know what the next move is here. I could go outside. I could go inside. I could scope out the restaurant, maybe give it a cursory glance. I could walk by the front desk. But what if they tell me good morning? There's. You see, with it's starting to make it clear why this, they call this a, they don't know what time it is challenge because they, whoever came up with this, uh, whoever came up with this, well, it must have been a real goofball. God, it looks rough out there. Oh, people, enhance editor. Are these people on their way to breakfast? Are these people coming from a nice dinner? Are these people about to celebrate New Year's? Are these people celebrating New Year's already? Is that a fire truck? These are all important questions that I gotta un get to the bottom of too. We got a guy on a boat here. 
sweeping, sw truly swabbing the poop deck. Tr literally swabbing the poop deck here, getting all that snow and ice off. Uh, I got bad news for you, pal. There's more where that came from. Oh my God, these people are going on. The, are they getting on the man's boat? One thing I haven't even broached yet is the possibility of opening this. It is, it is below freezing out there. Oh God. Oh, I can feel the, ah, the billowing. Where did you come from and where did you go? Where did you come from, Mr. Tromso? It's a lot of wind out there. There's another car. Tromso. Tromso. I hear people in the elevator. I need to take a shower. And then I'm gonna figure out how to get something to eat. And then I'm gonna figure out how to not figure out what time it is. And yes, I do have a, a little bit of video equipment. You may have noticed I got two, I got a double grip here. All right, shower time. Shower time, a glass of water. This shower is just uh, open. Save, press here to save three liters of water. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. I'm gonna save the world, baby. Best Buy 2021. Well, I don't think I slept that long. So here's what I'm thinking. They, they mentioned to me when I checked in that there's a, they do have a little restaurant and that that restaurant offers free breakfast. However, I'm a little cautious about going down to that kitchen and trying to get breakfast on account of how, if they do in fact offer the breakfast, that that's basically gonna tell me what time it is. I think I've established this at this point. Interested, in, I'm not interested, I don't wanna know what time it is. Now this, what is this? Dan Sucker. <laughs> um, I know what you're thinking, Nick, you, all, all you really had to eat is a, you went to the northernmost 7-Eleven and you got a, like a panini, like a pesto panini. Surely you're not just thinking of having coffee for breakfast. You're gonna need to get food at some point. These are all good points that you're making, dear viewer. Time, don't really know, date. Big don't know what it is. And and for that matter, the year. Can't say that I could help you there if someone asked me what year it is. I'm gonna have to say, ask someone else because this guy doesn't know what time it is. And frankly, if we want to go one further, I can't say with 100% certainty what decade it is right now. All these things are mysteries to me. It could be the 2010s. It could be the roaring 20s. It's a question mark out there. <sighs> I feel like... Okay, I feel like the move is gonna be flipping through this Tromso guidebook here and just finding some soft targets to maybe uh, visit and see what's gonna get my precious New Year's uh, kiss. Okay, here's all you need to know about Tromso. The French Emperor Napoleon III offered a prize to anyone who could make a satisfactory butter alternative. And that's, and that's really the, that's the story of how Tromso came to be. Going to the club in Tromso is an, wait a minute. This is in the hotel. And we are proud to have been host to world-renowned artists and entertainers. You're looking at him. World-renowned artist and entertainer right there. Who's this man? The octopus dealer himself. And he's here to deal you the, just the finest, freshest cuts of half-life head crabs for your money back. I like Tromso, man. Oh, f I've spilled my coffee. I got so f startled because there's a whole building that only wants to tell me what time it is. Ship to stern here. This place is filled with hundreds and hundreds of ancient Norwegian timepieces that are begging to tell me what time it is. See, this is why I'm glad we cracked open this book. Here's a place that we're gonna want to avoid like the plague. Oh my gosh. I'll be right back, I gotta clean up. All right, so you're, you're probably wondering, Nick, what are you gonna have for breakfast if you're not going down to the, for the complimentary breakfast? Well, Here's what I did. I, in preparation, when I was at 7-Eleven last night, I got this god, 
I got this Norwegian Christmas milk. I actually am not 100% sure if this is normal milk. It is, have, it's just got a suspicious amount of Christmas action. There is kind of a, a little bit of a Santa playing some sort of a funny piccolo with the Snapchat code. Well, it says in ingredients are hell milk. <laughs> so this is hell milk. Does hell milk mean cow milk? Does it mean eggnog? I hope it means normal milk. We got the funny Santa. He's making cookies for his dog of an angel and of a tree and of maybe some sort of a whale. But he is, oh, look, would you look at that? He's accidentally rolled a, his Santa's beard up into a rolling pin, uh, ruining the cookies for all involved, including the, he's got no pants on. He's just a big pink boot and a bare leg in the cold. Over here, we've got sort of a funny elf chasing a woman with a pot or pan. Are they gonna, are they fighting? This is quite a fright. This is quite a fright. She's looking, at, she's breaking the fourth wall. She's looking right at us. What are you, what are you doing in my village? They're playing some sort of funny uh, Quidditch using what appears to be a wooden egg. <laughs> and they're playing a uh, fun sport with it. I've got my Christmas milk, but what to go with it? Well, great question, Nick. Lucky for you, you thought of that. And you, when you were packing all your stuff, you buried deep in your luggage... Lucky Charms Frosted Flakes, now with three new unicorns. It has been updated. God, he's still such a... I don't trust that fucking face. And I'm sure you're wondering, Nick, why would you give money to a company like General Mills after what they've wrought and the sort of sins they've committed in years past, including 2018, which, depending on what time it is, was either last year or two years ago. I don't really know right now. Um, why would you support them? Don't worry, I stole it. Somewhere in the, along the line, this box got crushed, but, you know, anyone who would disrespect Lucky, I would consider an ally. Now, I'm gonna ask room service for a bowl and a spoon, but I'm worried they're gonna say good morning. So I have to do, I have to cover up the receiver so I can't hear them, no matter what they say. A dial tone. Hello? All right, this is, uh, no, this is too risky. I just walked myself mentally down the, down where this could be going. This is gonna end with me going down to the front desk or even calling the front desk, asking for a spoon and a bowl. And the front desk says, oh, the, the, the room service will be able to give you that, but they don't open until blank. And that's gonna be their way of surreptitiously telling me what time it is. We're gonna make this work. All right, this water cup is gonna be a makeshift cereal lover's delight. I don't have a spoon. I'm gonna have to just grip it and sip it. So we're gonna, ugh, family size. Imagine feeding this to your family. Jesus, it's really looking into the belly of the beast here. All right. In what universe is that a unicorn? What is that? It's nothing. Dear Lucky, you, you gotta go back to the drawing board, my guy. You didn't do it. This ain't no unicorn. This look like New Jersey. Marshmallow shapes and colors may vary. Yeah, no No But then again, why even make marshmallows in the shapes that you promised when you're already a petty thief and a serial uh, criminal? Does everybody say hell milk? Leave a comment with your favorite hell milk. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I, I, I'm i pretty hungry. <laughs> and this is looking kind of right. Talk about a deal with the devil. Talk about a deal with the devil. These flakes are barely frosted. You know what frosted flakes look like? Like they've been frosted with sugar. These are just f straight trad flakes, man. These are Gennaro. God, we're diving in. That's how she looks. The smell, it's almost too sweet. I don't know how they managed to have a, such an under-frosted flake and also such a saccharine smell, but we're going in. See you on the other side. I fell asleep. I fell asleep again. 
No, I really. I really don't know what time it is. I think Lucky put something in my flakes, knocked me right out, screw me up. So I can't tell what time it is. Well, it's not gonna. Well, I mean, it did work, but it's not gonna work to try and trick me into not knowing what time it is. Holy. <laughs> this is beautiful. So I was talking to this bartender working at the hotel last night, and the bartender told me, because I asked about the sun not rising, and he was like, well, uh, that is from October to December. And then he said like, starting like December 15th, there's a period of like, like an hour or two where a little bit of sunlight peeks through. He didn't tell me what hours that is, so I still don't know what time it is. But this, holy <laughs> this is what Tromso looks like, I guess. I swear to God, last night when I was looking out this window, I saw like the faint outline of mountains. <laughs> but now I can really see it. Dang. I mean, it's still dark, but like, I actually don't know how to describe like what this feels like. How long was I out? <laughs> how long was I out for? That nap, it felt like I listened to my sleepy Aphex Twin playlist that I found on Spotify. And I felt like I was out for just maybe a wink, maybe two winks max. Apparently this only lasts for a tiny period of time. This these narrow this narrow band of sunlight. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get dressed real quick and venture out into this and just see what Tromso looks like <laughs> while well, I still can. The man uh, sweeping on the boat is gone. I'm gonna be honest, I'm dreading putting these Walmart boots back on. My feet, my ankles, the heels of my feet specifically are aching a little from their clay aching a little on account of wearing these bad boys yesterday but i don't want to slip and fall on the ice if i can avoid it so i'm gonna be wearing i'm gonna be wearing the boots hey siri what temperature is it it's 34 degrees right now do I need another layer? Or this is a large garment. Before I fell asleep last night, I got a notification on my phone saying something about gale, gale force winds. I would like to see some wind try and get through this. It ain't happening. Oh yeah. I'm looking like, like Fat Man from Metal Gear Solid 2. You all play that game? I planted many bombs all around the big show. All right, I'm cozy. I miss you comfortable shoes. I wish I could take you with me. Wallet, phone. Oh, I'm holding it. Off we go. By the way, I did flip my tag around to say yes. My thinking is if they clean the room while I'm out, then I won't know what time they came and knocked on my door. All right, Tromso. Do your worst. Do I do it? Do I press the breakfast button? I need to just man up. I couldn't, I couldn't run the risk of someone telling me whether breakfast was about to start or about to end, or maybe it's dinner time, maybe it's lunch time. I just. I feel like I have so much more to take in now. <laughs> Who's this nude man? I didn't really get a good glimpse of him. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, let's really do be like that sometimes. Hey man, dab me up. I know, I know how it is. Oh, I should have brought my business. One confounding detail I noticed yesterday, places would like close at 5 p.m. and open at 2 p.m. and open at 2 a.m. and it just, just a chaotic opening and closing schedule for each of these shops. It's interesting.
I'm just spilling it. Do you have a uh, a power adapter for USA to Europe? Uh, no, not here. I'm sold out. Oh, that makes sense. Great. Well, thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have a nice happy New Year. Happy New Year. Wait a minute. <laughs> she mean happy? I'm happy that it's the new year, or I'm happy that it's gonna be the new year. <laughs> what did you mean? Oh, is that the watch shop? I don't want to keep me keep me far from the watch shop. Oh my god, I found him. The head crab guy. I wonder if he's in there doing that right now. Okay, I got some spikes for my boots. Oh my god. It looks like Ai Ai's feet in Super Monkey Ball 2. There's something really lovely about the idea of a barber shop that uses chiller, <laughs> the chiller font. The most like, I'm an eighth grader making a horror movie poster font, but for haircuts. It's my favorite barber voice right there. Frankfurt 1041. And so a hot dog is born to us, a sausage given us, Upon its bun, dominion rest. So kingdom come, my hot dog's done, on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Oh my god. <laughs> is that... Oh my god, my favorite, they got my favorite Pokemon. They got my number one Pokemon. Who did get this to you? <laughs> that is not what I thought I was going to see when I turned the corner. Lego loft it. Tromselbruchtbock. I was not expecting to see Black Butler in Tromso. Isn't that, isn't that just how the human heart is? It guides you to your people. It guides you to your kindred spirits like that. What a, what a Christmas miracle. Okay, let's see if that opens. Yes. In my own, in my own habitat. The one place I thought I was safe. I got the time told to me. But you know what? I'm not giving up. I guess I can't, I can't really think of it. Oh God. Here she is. My worst nightmare. I'm, I'm closing my eyes so in real life so you can see them, but I can't. These are all definitely gonna tell me what time it is. I'm safe from them for now, but you know, you know in your heart they're gonna get out. This is a hellscape. I'm a hellscape navigator. Here's my nude man. Here's my nude friend. <coughs> Looking like Slender Man when he's out in this shaky cam out of focus. So I failed the mission, at least initially. Here's the thing. I see no reason why we can't just see that as a practice run, all right? Yeah, that guy told me what time it is. There's no getting around that. But if I go to sleep right now, if I use the power of medical science, and if I use, if I use this bottle of melatonin gummies, of sleep regulating melatonin gummies that I bought on slickdeals.net. If I gobble a handful of these down, put myself in that bed and fall asleep, I stand a very good chance of once again not knowing what time it is. Is it gonna f me up possibly? Am I gonna take some poison damage from these purple poison 
sleep pills. Uh, it's possible. But I need to get back into a mode when I don't know what time it is and, and I'll do what it takes. I'll do what it takes to not know what time it is. Let's get this party started. That's finna be me in a second, man. That's me when the that's me when the melatonin hits. That's how I'm that's how I'm looking when the melatonin hits just right. Bombs away, baby. Let's get toned up. Call me Tone Loke. Cause I'm off that mella. What else do I need to do? I gotta eat this 7-Eleven sandwich I bought. It's part of the and then the formula will be complete. If I poison myself to sleep with a 7-Eleven panini and some melatonin, the human body just has no defense against that combo. One melatonin pill and one 7-Eleven pesto panini available in, only in Norway. The human body just turns off. <laughs> you put those two in you? You put those two in you? Your immune system goes into a state of panic and just stops working. And that's gonna be exactly what I need to conk me out. And I'm doing it, let me remind you, I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this all in order to find out what time it's not. These are the sacrifices you make when you, when you commit to a life of, fuck, that made the lights more. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh man. What decade is it? Oh, I fell asleep with my contact lenses in. I felt like a big big sleep. Oh my gosh. But I don't know if it actually was. I, I had a couple beers and all the bartenders in Tromso are so dang nice. I like them all so much. I like the Fireworks. Is it 2020? There are fireworks in every direction. Oh my gosh. I know what year it is. Oh, f <laughs> oh, it just says it on the mountain. There's so many people in the streets of Tromsø. Are we one minute away? Are we one hour away? I feel like it's got to be really close. Or the fire. There's no way they can't be firing off fireworks like this all night. <laughs> I didn't know Tromsø went quite this hard in terms of fireworks in every direction. There's really no hiding from this. Literally, truly, everyone is trying to tell me what time it is. Holy. Sh I actually can't describe how nerve wracking it is to know that it's New Year's Eve and to not know how close we are to the ball dropping. I'm throwing on some clothes. Okay. Oh man, I napped too long. The fireworks are getting faster. I hear Norwegians yelling. How long was I out? <laughs> this is the most stressful thing that's ever happened to me. Oh my God, where are my socks? I just barely, I missed it too. Hey, happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. What's your name? Michael. Michael, happy new year. Where are you from? Happy new year, Norway. Oh. I was trying to not know what time it was. <laughs> and now it's the new year. Now it's the new year. It's hard to, hard to yeah. ignore. Woo! Woo! 2020, you say up there. Yeah, it does. It says it right up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> They're trying to tell me what year it is up there. Fireworks are not stopping. I know you were just filming everything. Yeah. Just having a good time. I am. I'm a I'm a YouTuber from California. Are you a YouTuber? Yes. You have many followers. Yeah. We would like to be on your YouTube video. Okay. I'm here with my boy Fred Tory Anderson. That's me! <laughs> oh, we got one of that. He's one of the nicest guys in Europe. Up to yes. Your YouTube channel is what? Uh, it's uh, youtube.com slash Babylonian. Start anew. Okay, we'll start anew. Are ready? Yes. Yeah. Ah! I'm here with my boy. Fred Tori. Yes, that's Fred. me. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my me on youtube.com slash Babylonian.com. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So fun to have you. You are great guys. Please rate, subscribe, and leave a comment. I got a message for the girls. What's that? You got a big <laughs> Okay. You have a great new year. Thank you. the most chaotic two minutes of my life. Okay. That is quite a way to wake up. <laughs> As for the rest of my evening, I just kept wandering around Tromso, wandering around the hotel, striking up conversations with people. Eventually I found myself hanging out with a group of people who just invited me with open arms into their, their evening, and we drank, we went back to their apartment, they showed me Norwegian music that <laughs> they grew up on. Oh, it's great. It's like, I'm from the country in uh, America. This sounds like the music from my home. As I reflected on this journey, the thing that I kept coming back to was that everyone in Tromso, everyone was incredibly kind and open-hearted even when talking to strangers. The, the bartenders, the New Year's Eve revelers, even the guy who accidentally told me what time it was, all of them. At the end of it, I found myself more appreciative of time than ever. Of the time I got to spend in this country I'd never been to, in this city I'd never heard of, with some of the nicest people I'd ever met in my life. So to the residents of Tromso, Norway, thank you. Thank you for being so accommodating, so kind, and so enthusiastic about sharing your culture with me. I can't wait to come back. What a, what a, what a, what a... So, I mean, challenge failed, I guess, but it doesn't feel like it. If... 2020. Happy New Year, everyone. All right, one last thing before I leave Tromso. Um, this video you're watching, I've been working on it for a long time. I started working on this in May. I started researching flights to Norway back in May of last year. And, and one question I get a lot is how I'm able to fly so often for my videos. And uh, honestly, a really big part of that is kayak.com. So for example, this video that you just watched, I first started tracking flights to Norway back in May. You can see here, here are all my emails from tracking this flight with the kayak price alert feature. So as soon as a cheap flight to Norway popped up, I was able to pounce on it and start planning out this video. 
I've been using Kayak to book pretty much all my flights for literally eight years now, and there's a reason for that. Kayak's travel search engine is legitimately the best way to book cheap flights. So whether you have an exact travel date in mind or you just want to see the cheapest flights regardless of the timing, Kayak can help with that. By searching for flights with Kayak, you're searching hundreds of different airlines and travel websites at once, and then Kayak will conveniently sort all the results from all those websites in one nice column by price. So you're always getting the cheapest flight. If you want to try Kayak for yourself, just head to bit.ly slash booked a ticket and start looking up flights today. And I do actually encourage you to try this for yourself. Just click the link in the description or go to bit.ly slash booked a ticket and type in the name of a place you've always wanted to visit and hit search. And I really do think you'll be pleasantly surprised by how cheap some of these flights are. Thanks for watching. It was like 20, <clears throat> it was like 24 hours. <laughs> All right. It's the freezing Arctic. Ocean. I'll give this gift the furthest a Bojangles biscuit has ever been traveled. Guinness Book of World Records contact me. This time zone may be different, but no matter whether you're zero TMT or in the east coast of the United States of America, it's always bow time.